That was very tough at the start because, again, you don't know. That was our first time going through uh, anything of that nature. Uh, someone close to us uh, having cancer and at that level, and you know, one of my best friends and my brother. And it was uh, tough because you don't know um, exactly what to say, how to say it. Um, but talking to different people, doing a lot of research uh, over the with the internet um, and people that have gone through it, and they said, just be yourself. Treat your brother like you've always treated him. So we actually spoke uh, in some form of communication. And you'll pick up, they said. You'll pick up when they want to talk, when they don't want to, their good days or bad days. So we definitely communicated every single day in some way, shape, or form, whether that was verbally, over the phone, in person, um, through text, texting, and uh, just treat him. So I would uh, bust his chops, and he bust my chops back, and just treat him like I treated him before the cancer. There were moments where I can tell uh, he didn't want to talk or he was very short and I didn't push and, you know, I text him, hey, I want to come over and he'd say, nah, I'm tired or whatever, didn't force it or uh, I'd say, yeah, I want you to come over or he'd come over to the house and he'd come over for only 10, 15 minutes even and he'd leave because he wasn't feeling strong enough or, um, or wanted, he just wanted to get out and feel human again and it's, it's tough and I, he didn't share a lot of the battles that he went through and, uh, but he got through it and uh, very blessed. My mom, I mean, again, uh, typical Italian mother, uh, anything happens to her babies. Of course, and I see her crying, and I start crying, and kind of left her to be and pray. And uh, But she was a rock, and my father, too, was, was also a rock. And um, in fact, during that time when Eddie was going through cancer and the treatments, we'd go out um, if, if he felt good, uh, of course, we'd go out almost religiously one, once a week. And we'd go, and again, to be that, have, try to have some normalcy into his life. But he wanted that, because he cared, and he wanted to make sure that everything was going well with me and my job, and, and uh, with Randy and his job and his family, and making sure their kids were okay. And um, So I think that was extremely important. I think it was, it was a great, um, uh, great interaction that we had. I think we were all, uh, again, on the edge of our seats, and hopeful that we were gonna get some positive news, and. Uh, Thank God we did, and it was a very positive thing for us. Yeah, I think, you know, when he went back into the booth and, uh, you know, and kind of had a, a good good interaction, as he always does with the great Pat Foley, um, that was just great to see. It was very emotional. I know there was a lot of tears in that, uh, in that United Center in Chicago, uh, certainly on TV, and I got a lot of text messages from people saying, what a great speech, and he looks great, and he's, he's a fighter, and he's going to get through it.